Hi. Now, for this last part here, we've got to find the value of A, the acceleration of the motorcyclist for two marks. And just to point out that if you watched the previous video, you'd have seen that in part C, we worked out that the motorcyclist, which started 10 seconds after the car left the traffic lights, took 50 seconds to get to this point A. So just bear that in mind when it comes to working out the value of A. You might find it useful. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll give you the answer and you can watch my work solution if need be. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, the numerical answer for A is that A equals 0.792 meters per second per second. So if you didn't get this, as I say, I'll just take you through the method. Now it's worth putting this time in here as 60, because remember it was 50 seconds across here from 10 to T. So that means that T would have actually been 60 seconds at that point there. Now, if we're to find this acceleration, because it's constant, I can use a SUVAP-based equation. So let's just put our variables down here, S, U, V, A, and T. What do we know? Well, remember, S is displacement, and that we know that that's going to be 990 meters, so 990 there. U, the initial speed of the motorcyclist, well that was zero, it started from rest. The final speed, we don't know. The acceleration, we're trying to find out. The time though, was in fact 50 seconds. Okay, the difference between the 10 and the 60 that the motorcyclist was traveling. So what equation would we use to work out A here? Well, it's got to be S equals UT, plus a half a t squared. And that get, means that we've got for s 990 then equals u t. Well, if u is zero, that takes out that term. And then we've got equals a half times a. So half a times t squared, t squared being 50 squared. And if I rearrange this for a, we therefore have A equals, if I times both sides by 2, I will get that A equals 990 times 2. And I'd have to divide this by 50 squared. So it's a bit of a squash in here. So I hope you can see that. Okay. But if you work this out, you'll find you get 0.792. And the units will be meters per second per second. Okay.